Hey guys, so a bike company called Engway reached out to me to let me try one of their e-bikes. Uh, and they have a, a few different, this is the Engway Engine Pro. And right now, before I go out and ride it and test it, I'm gonna go through some of the specs with you guys first. So, so it's an aluminum frame, it's aluminum, aluminum, aluminum foldable frame. So the frame folds up and you can actually toss it into like the back of an SUV, train or bus or something like that. The tire size, they're 20 inch wheels, four inch, so super fat tires. It has fenders on both the front and the back. The battery is is a 48 volt 16 AH or amp hour removable lithium ion battery motor 1000 watt peak power motor it speeds up to on their website 0 to 30 I had it uh, clocked up to 35 miles per hour the max mileage it says in in I believe this is in normal mode is 37 miles this is not pedal assist just throttle uh, it says 75 miles pass mode which I'm assuming means you're pedaling actually so it's pedal assist brakes uh, 160 millimeter rotors and we have hydraulic disc brakes so it's actually Pretty solid uh, braking power, I believe. There are five different levels of pedal assist for each mode. Eco mode, normal mode, or sport mode, you'll have one through five power options. And then zero, meaning it's turned off. 13 to 20, 28 tooth cassette on the back. Eight gears powered by Shimano. You have uh, a coil fork on the front, and then it looks like an air shock on the back. It looks like a DNM shock, which I've seen a lot of people use on some Mountain bike upgrade videos. The suspension feels pretty good. It takes about five, five and a half hours, they say, to fully charge the battery. There's an LCD display that's about, we'll say four inches um, and pretty intuitive. It weighs 69.88 pounds. Things I like about it, just looking at it off the bat, it looks fairly rugged with the big tires. Sitting position, your handlebars are way up high. It looks and feels a lot like a moped. Things I like about it though, I like the foldability. It is, uh, does have alloy wheels, so you're not dealing with spokes there. Uh, big fenders front and back and a nice beefy rack on the back for transporting stuff. So it could be a really nice commuter, it can be dependable, kind of hard to break, and uh, it doesn't really matter that it's heavy because it's an e-bike. All right guys, that's enough of the specs. We're gonna get out riding this and actually testing it out and we'll see what we think of it and I will catch you guys out there. Cheers. Sport one, two. Okay. Whoa. Sheesh. Okay. There we go. Now we feel like a moped. Woo! Holy smokes. Brakes. Brakes pretty solid. The suspension feels pretty good. Whoa. Goodness. Oh, the takeoff is nuts. Man. Oh, boy. Okay, this is pretty fun, actually. You're cooking! Oh, man. Alright, we're gonna go down this hill. It's a nice straightaway hill. Let's see what the top speed is here. right up this hill too. Nice. Alright, really like, it's 
not a high-end suspension by any means compared to coming from mountain bikes but this is smoothing stuff out really remarkably well handling feels pretty good I mean it's definitely like a geometry that feels crazy coming from mountain bikes um, but geez like this is just fun there's a, maybe a tiny leg from my pedal to when it takes off, but it's not really much. Maybe four pedal strokes or something. Let's check out the speed on this straightaway with pedaling. Get in the top gear. Can we hit 50 kilometers an hour? Yeah, we did. I didn't know that we have regen. Oh my gosh, the boost here is gnarly. Testing the suspension there. Drop here. All right, I was going to I was going to sit down and kind of film myself doing a uh, summary here, but we're it's so nasty. We're just gonna cruise around and while I cruise I'm gonna give my my summary here so Ooh, baby <laughs> it gets wet and a little mossy here um, so watch it on those corners uh, okay gotta recollect my thoughts here so does it has a lot of power um, Top speed I hit of just over 35 miles an hour. Uh, that was in the sport mode. Was going downhill. I think it was more like 33 uh, when we're on flat. Uh, uphill when we're not pedaling, we're getting about 15, something like that. Uh, Throttle is pretty responsive. Cruise control makes quite a bit of sense. It feels, you know, feels reasonable. Um, the, let's see, pedal assist, there's a little bit of a lag from when you first pedal uh, to when it kicks in. It is always full power uh, when you're pedaling, so uh, when you do pedal and you're in a tight space, you know, you got to be ready for that full boost. Uh, and then battery power, like I said, the power is pretty solid here, but the battery power, battery life, uh, seems to last quite a while as well. I've been cruising around the last couple days, and uh, I don't know how, how much time total, but uh, or mileage I haven't really been watching. Uh, but the battery power is still at, oh, just dipped down to 99. I've probably been riding around for like an hour cumulative. Brakes are pretty strong. Let's actually see. Total distance five miles. Max speed 35 and a half miles per hour. Um, I have taken it through, obviously you can see it's wet, through a lot of puddles and stuff, but on some bumps to test out this suspension. Um, it's not a high-end suspension by any means, it's not like comparable to mountain bike suspensions. Uh, but it is, it is a decent full suspension. Um, let's see, what else can I talk about? The uh, compactness, I really appreciate that. Uh, the ability to, to fold it up easily. And then it, the, the brakes seem pretty solid. The Shimano shifter works well. Uh, the big tires do make this kind of more uh, nice comfy ride. It feels like a moped. To me, honestly, it feels a lot like just riding a moped around. 
and uh, the heads up display or not heads up display the the user interface and everything with the computer and the computer screen is is very nice um, super easy to understand easy to switch uh, let's see I'll show you the stopping power <laughs> but you hold down these two uh, top and bottom to get into the display and then you can click around everything makes you know it's pretty pretty intuitive here so i have auto headlight on uh, cruise control i have off you can change the power settings go back um, when you actually do exit all the way out here on the main screen so you can click through speed distance trip distance power um, and then you hold down the info button in the center to change from sport eco and regular there's a power button to turn it on and off uh, we have this button on the right that just simply turns our headlight on and off which you can see but I have it on auto so it won't stay on right now <laughs> it turns on and off uh, shifters down here which you know makes sense for mountain biking uh, pretty narrow handlebars but uh, I wouldn't want them wide in terms of having to fold this up anything like that uh, and it doesn't really matter for riding position uh, if you're not mountain biking if you're just sitting down it doesn't for me doesn't really need to be a wide handlebar and I would say yeah that's pretty much it there's a little we got a horn which sounds kind of like just a random electronic beeping But yeah, pretty cool little e-bike. It's it's pretty powerful, pretty fun. It could be super nice for commuting, especially if you commute to a train or anything like that, because uh, you could fold it right up. Um, also, if you're going to carry this in your car uh, to <laughs> to wherever you're going to ride or commute in your car part way. Uh, it could be perfect for that as well. So uh, really cool, uh, cool deal. And it's actually, I'd say coming from a mountain biker, <laughs> I do feel like this is actually a ton of fun to, um, to just cruise around. Uh, it, it's not the coolest looking bike compared to a mountain bike, like I said. Um, but super fun to just cruise around. I've been having a lot of fun just whipping around a uh, parking lot with it. Uh, so I'll drop a link below for this if you want to check it out and some more information about it below to recap all the specs and everything. But that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you do want to help me out, uh, like and subscribe, drop a comment, and uh, I will catch you guys on the next video as I whip down this hill. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the trails. Cheers.